Yeah, hi, Red Redfern here, back again for the second part of the recap of the round table last night with Ash Mufara. Today is Tuesday, the 7th of June. Okay, so let's get started. Tomorrow, which is actually today now, there is going to be another live demo of O Connect. And for the likes of Oliver Collins and Bob, we are talking about uh, the translation of how O Connect is going to work. These guys obviously will let you guys know in layman's terms how it's all going to work. But the biggest news of that, okay, was uh, when Ash was on, I think he was on the uh, Late Night Live with Ron and Lynn and also the PNG. He was talking about um, this. And one of the questions was about closed captions and translation. And at the time, Ash wasn't quite sure uh, what was going to be available. But he was thought about it. He went to his team and all of the rest of it. So it's going to start from word go with that closed caption. It will come from the very first release. OK, a complete O connect that will uh, outvalue any other webinar services available. So there's one more sprint to get ready for this, but we're almost there for having a sellable product. Many thanks to the engineers of OConnect who have made this all possible. So the first release already has the audio to close caption. So text to audio, uh, audio to text, okay, that is available for there. With a push of a button, you can enable the closed caption Next, it will be a speaker with a uh, artificial intelligence audio. Uh, so it will be audio to audio that will be available in the second. And then there's going to be another sprint as well. There will be any language available that for this closed caption. So not only can you have it in with the sound off closed caption in English, you can also have it auto generated to change into whatever language that you want to and then when the fourth uh, part uh, comes out okay you can choose to override the English language into the audio language of your choice that will be done by artificial intelligence how cool is all of that this means that it has so many possibilities so many opportunities for so many people. It really has been uh, a wish list of ashes to have this available. It also means that because our products integrate and connect with other products of OnPassive seamlessly, for instance, you can have a course in Academy, okay, for a degree or college or whatever it may be, and you can have a different language speaker on that course. You can do the course because it auto translates and you will know exactly what is going on. You can have the um, speaker still uh, as audio, but then you can read the closed captions. Can you? How many times have you been in bed? You don't want to wake up your partner, uh, but you still want to be able to uh, understand what's going on. Just turn the audio part off of it and the closed captions come underneath in your own language. How cool is that? It really does open the doors for a lot of possibilities. He went on then to talk about O-Mail. All of the wish lists of O-Mail have been completed and our passive that now has a complete email solution for everyone. It will be ready for sale in the next few weeks. This is the best email solution that has ever existed. It existed, it blows most of uh, all of the other uh, email providers out of the water with what you have in one place under one roof as an email provider. It will only deliver the finest products and technology on earth, not just making products to sell on passive will shake up the world. And part of this is to make sure that every single product we have is only going to be the best. There is no, it'll do there is no, well, we can go with this, but we'll improve it later. No, no, no. We start with having the best. And then what do we do? We add even more value by having us as founders, the technicians, wanting to know what we can do to improve it 
to add more stuff to it, etc., etc. It really is blowing how things are done completely out the water. So most uh, of the big products, these are what are ready right now for the final marketing and sprints within the next days and weeks coming up. O-Trim, completely ready for resale. O-Tracker, this is a minimum value product, which is actually ready last year. It's going to be the best product uh, as far as tracking is designed for on the planet. And it will have so many different features. That is ready for resale. O-Mail is ready. O-Staff, O-Desk, and they are now finalising uh, O-Academy as well. Uh, we have got a counsellor feature, student, tutorial, institutions, universities, e-learning. That is all going to be available from there. And we're also now going to have a counsellor feature within there for independent and one-to-one -one tuitions. Along with O-Connect language, we will no longer be a barrier for learning from day one. Uh, there's no limits, there's no borders, there's no colours, religions. Anybody and everybody will be able to do these courses. Why? Because with the connection of O-Connect, they will have that auto-translation feature there. So a uh, language does not stop anybody learning whatever they want to learn in any country that they want to learn it in. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, O-Net. Uh, will right, uh, be uh, the digital global community with fairness, privacy and free speech as long as the limits and boundaries are not pushed. Obviously, if there's hate speech, uh, religious stuff and all the rest of it, that is won't be allowed. But we want to give the user a free reign up to certain limits, which are just normal day-to-day -day, uh, limits. So that will be ready. Odesk is going to be ready for a B2B, okay, business to business and business to customer. That is going to be ready to go. And the last one that is going to be in the arsenal, ready to rock and roll within the next few weeks, is Obless. He said that next Wednesday there's going to be another live demo of this for him to look at. But it's all moving forward, guys. What a list that is for us to start launch of arm um, passive as far as saleable products absolutely amazing so uh, he also said that obviously after the hiccup with what happens in bangladesh about foreign companies etc that is now moving forward so that's fantastic news for the people in bangladesh i'm sure we'll get more information about that uh, as we go along dubai is still completely on track we have not stopped in dubai uh, we were told last week that there is going to be more shows on front of the Burj Khalifa. Uh, along with Mohammed Kamal, I'm sure we will get the times, dates, when that is going to resume. Uh, a high bar was put on all the products from the company, uh, and we are meeting and exceeding those high, bar, high, high bars. Uh, as of today, the products mentioned above have met them. And now we are focusing on what next for these products. The what next part is to how do we actually make them even better? And this is where we as users, founders and the engineers come into place by putting these ideas forward. Once we have started playing with these uh, products, we can then give feedback. And this is how these products become better and better and better. We are not in the business to compete. The company of On Passive is a business to deliver the above uh, uh, what is expected with imaginative and new ideas. I couldn't concur more in that statement. Our priorities are to bring the on passive digital ecosystem to the market marketplace uh, as well as hosting and also traffic. Remember, we have our own data center. We know our own traffic sources. We went into then a part of a Q&A with some of the leaders that were on the panel and Gusman de Dilla, Dylan uh, asked, what do we uh, do after the founder's position has ended? Ash came on, said that the theory of the foundership is to help found the company, create and develop what we already have. 
this mission is now coming to an end obviously as we know with the close of that founder's position now those who didn't get involved can try to get involved for those who did already and be participating is just to have the time is now is to have fun okay with what we have got for those that haven't done the right things we're going to bless them and uh, we might even have to subtract uh, from them as well with more material uh, that the company is bringing out we really do want to enjoy where we are and what we have right now Mohammed Kamal came on and he talked about the concerning of the activity of the people from uh, Yemen and what Ash very kindly did for them he said this is a one-off and it is final there is no more so please do not uh, contact anybody any leader including uh, Mohammed Kamal and Peter Surer about uh, anybody else uh, being paid for pending founder positions or founder positions this is not going to happen uh, he's had a huge request for founders in need uh, but Hamid explained that the offer is not going to be repeated it's a one-time situation that was done there and then on the spur of the moment please don't ask out of respect for the company's generosity he said uh, he also explained all of this in Arabic so that that message would get across uh, Mr. Ash responded by saying that the $97 is not a large expense and to give freely to all would not be a responsible business uh, proposition for us. The generosity is a one-time expression of that generosity to these people. Uh, Ash is uh, head of the CEO of the Unicorn Company putting, he said, sorry, let me go back. Ash has heard of a CEO of a Unicorn Company uh, that took so long to bring out one uh, emoji they had a whole conference of it as such a big deal and this is all they ever talked about on passive has so much more to talk about we have broken broken the boundaries of what is possible to do in the time scale again we will be the hunted as far as how to do business online not only from a customer product position but also from other companies who want to know how we have managed to achieve this. One great big statement that came out from Ash was on passives, actions are far bigger than our talk. Actions speak louder than words, guys, and this really is where we are at now. With everything that we have, our actions are going to speak the biggest of words. The company's been working 24-7 on weekends, uh, time off from family. Many, many sacrifices have been made for to get the data center up and running at this incredible speed. It is relatively flawless with coordination from the Indians and IT departments, managers and cloud hostings. We have made it happen and this is where we differ so much from anybody else. We have an idea. We can't say you, we cannot do it. We get to work and we make it happen. We, all of the data centers got backup power, backup internet. Everything is backed up for the whole system. As an infant company, we we could, uh, with on passive, uh, do what the big companies have haven't done. Ash actually finds it very hard to believe why these companies haven't done what we have done, and all he can put it down to is. They haven't got the vision. They haven't got the heart that the Onpassivians have. Uh, on came Mike Ellis. Uh, you said he wanted to uh, wish Ash uh, uh, for having the ability to do what he has done. He has changed his life. It has changed who he is. And he is now looking to have fun when, uh, with the time that is coming with Onpassive. Uh, he, Ash came on and said uh, he thanked Mike Ellis for everything he has done for those videos etc and all of the rest of it. So that was about it for the uh, round table last night. Absolutely amazing. I know that Marty has already posted uh, it's in your back office under the updates. Go over there and listen to it. Obviously this is just a recap and it doesn't do it any justice whatsoever. Take the time uh, to do that. You will not be sorry. That's it from me. Uh, this week, I'm concentrating on 
products for you. So look out in the website, in our YouTube for that. That's it for me. Bye for now.